In this video, we'll cover how to set up your Canon PIXMA MX532 printer on a wireless network using the standard setup on a Windows computer. Let's get started. Before connecting your printer to the network, confirm that your wireless router is available and properly set up. Also, confirm that your computer is connected to the network. Make sure your printer is plugged in and turned on. The power button will be lit green when the printer is on. If the printer LCD screen is blank, press the copy button on the upper left of the four button panel. When the screen is on, press the setup button on the bottom right of the four button panel. The screen will now display wireless LAN setup. Press the OK button. If you see scrolling text on the screen, press the stop button on the right hand side of the printer panel to display this screen. When you see standard setup displayed on the printer screen, press the OK button. The printer will now search for your access point or wireless router as shown on the printer screen. Using the right arrow button, select your router and press the OK button two times. Now you will enter your passphrase, also known as an access key or Wi-Fi network password. The printer screen is case sensitive. In the upper right corner of the printer screen, you will see a lowercase a, an uppercase a, or the number one. Pressing the star key under number seven on the phone pad will change between lowercase, uppercase, and numbers. To enter letters, press the number key that has the desired letter on it repeatedly until your letter appears. For example, pressing the number two key three times would enter the letter C. If you have the same letter twice in a row or consecutive letters on the same key, then enter the first letter followed by the right arrow key under the screen before entering the second letter. When your password is complete, press OK. When this screen appears, press OK then press the copy button on the upper left of the four button panel. Now let's install the software. Insert the bundled CD-ROM that came with your Canon PIXMA printer into your computer or download the installation files from the Canon website by visiting canon.com slash ijsetup. Follow these links to download the software for your printer. Open the downloaded file on your computer to get started. Review the information on the opening screen and click Next. On the Connection Method Selection screen, choose Wireless Connection. Click Next to confirm that your printer is turned on. The completion of connection screen will be displayed. Click Next. A list of applications will appear. Click Next. The license agreement screen will be displayed. Click Yes to continue with the installation. Click Next to begin the software installation. The software will now be installed. This may take several minutes. When the Setup Completion dialog box appears, click Complete. Now the Printhead Alignment screen is displayed. Load plain paper into the printer, then click Next to start Printhead Alignment and follow any on-screen instructions. When the Printhead Alignment has completed, click Next. Click Next to finish the software setup. At this time, you will be prompted to register your product. If you choose to register at this time, a new window will open. After registration is complete, you can continue with the installation. 
an extended survey program screen will appear. This optional program is used for the development and marketing of Canon products so they will better meet our customers' needs. If you agree to participate in the extended survey program, click Agree. If you click Do Not Agree, the extended survey program will not be installed. Now the test print window is displayed. If you would like to make a test print, click Execute. After test printing, click Next. You can skip test printing by simply clicking Next. Once you see the installation completed successfully screen, click Exit to complete the installation. Congratulations! This completes the standard setup of your Canon PIXMA MX532 printer on a Windows computer. Now you are ready to print or scan. Thank you for watching. To view more videos in this series or if you still need help, click on the information symbol that looks like this on the upper right hand corner of this video.